Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends, this is Gunjan here. Welcome to the 26th episode of my chess trap series. In this episode, I am going to show you a wonderful trap exists in the Italian game from the white perspective. The opening arises after the following order e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4 and the trademark Italian move bishop to c5. Okay, white continues with d3 and black responds with knight to f6. So quickly want to castle on the king side and the main line here runs with the move c3. However, our trappy line start with knight to c3. Now as black hasn't castle on the king side, it is perfectly fine for black to play the move d6 and liberate his other bishop. As the obvious spin bishop to g5 here doesn't work because of the move h6 and if bishop drop backs to the h4 then g5 is a very strong reply and black get a lot of space on the king side. So after the move h6 white is more or less obliged to capture on f6 and after queen captures f6 the importance of knight to c3 can be revealed because now White can play in knight to d5, attacking two spots, and that's why black has the only move in this position. Queen goes back to d8 square. Afterwards, white will continue with this tricky move c3. The good thing I like about this trap is after the move d6, by force white can reach to this position, and here black can already go wrong if he doesn't play the careful move. In this lecture, we are going to concentrate on one of the most popular choice by black, namely bishop to e6. And if you check this position in online database, you will find out that there are more than 50 FIDE games played from this position, including some very high rank players. Bishop to e6 is a very initial move as it pinned down the knight and black is trying to finish his development. But amazingly enough, it turns out that this move is a big time disaster for the black. And in all lines, white get a completely winning position. Before I move on, I like you to pause this video and find out a winning move which gives white a completely upper hand. Did you find it? Let's see. Surprisingly enough, more games continue with b4, which I think it's a great deal of inaccuracy. After that, black has some surviving chances. But the killer move is... BAM! <laughs> so the spawn roller already hitting the bishop and black is forced to capture on d4. For example, if black continues with bishop to b6, then the game can be already decided as after knight captures b6, a captures b6 and the move d5, white win the piece on the spot. You might think, hang on, but what about knight to a5, counter attacking the bishop? Well, white don't need to panic as he can calmly play bishop to d3. After black bishop moves anywhere, let's say bishop to d7, then b4, in fact, trap the black knight. So it is very obvious that here, black has to capture on d4. And after this, white will recapture with the c pawn, attacking the bishop one more time. If bishop to b6, then the same theme appear and black loses the piece. So again, by force, black has to play bishop to b4 check which at first sight looks like a saving resource. But nope, it's not working because of the simple move knight captures b4. So white is a whole piece up and at this junction he has given black which piece he wants to capture. The first capture knight captures b4 is obviously very bad. The simple reason is after queen to a4 check, we are hitting the knight and if knight goes back to c6, then after d5, white grab the piece and in fact the game. 
Probably the most critical response here is Bishop capture c4, which at first sight solves all black problems. But still, it's an illusion as white still get a decisive advantage. Before I move on, I like you to pause this video and find a continuation where white get an advantageous position. Okay, I hope you find this move order, knight capture c6, pawn capture c6, and now the star move, queen to c2, attacking the bishop and beyond on c6. And unfortunately for black, he cannot parry both of the threats. There are three choices black can made over here. If bishop to b5, which is a blunder move, the simple refutation is after the move a4, that bishop doesn't have any square to go as after bishop to a6 and queen capture c6, white clearly obtain a piece. So that's not a good choice for the black. Well, what about d5? Well, the same story. We are going to hit the bishop. And if the bishop moves back, then we have a4 and the c6 pawn drops. So accordingly, black has to do a counterattack with Pawn captures e4, hitting the knight. And I got this position against a 1900 rated opponent where I clearly get a superior edge after queen captures e4 check. Black has the only move, bishop to e6. After that, I grab more pawns with queen captures c6 check, bishop to d7, and queen to c5. After the whole sequence, not only white has stopped black to castle on the king side, but at this point, he is a healthy pawn up. Last but not least, what happens if bishop goes to the e6? Well, you already guessed it. Yup, you can capture on c6. And after bishop to d7 and queen to c3, not only white has a center, but he emerged with a clear pawn advantage. And with some accurate play, this is more than sufficient to create a full point. That's it guys. I hope you enjoy and learn this amazing trap in the Italian game. Remember if your opponent continues with bishop to e6, then don't play the move b4, but play this winning move d4 and no matter however black respond, he get losing position at the opening stage. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment on this and I'll meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.